everybody welcome to my youtube channel this is tina of mama of two plus five and today i'm going to do a pantry um organization video with you um today's really a hard day um i just found out that my aunt passed and um she is my dad's from a very large family he has eight brothers and sisters and we lost one of them this last year my aunt jean um, actually, I think it's been two years now, and um, then we turned around and um, just lost Aunt Betty Ann, and um, Aunt Betty Ann, this one's really hard for me because she is the second oldest, and my dad is the oldest, so getting closer, <laughs> so if you could keep my family and your thoughts and prayers, we'd really appreciate it, and one way I find to um, keep my grief in check is to <laughs> to clean. I don't know how many of you are the same way when you're upset or trying to clear your head, trying to think things through. Grab a broom. That used to be my grandma saying, grab a broom. So that's what we're going to do in some sense. We are going to go ahead and clean out the pantry. Um, I apologize um, there's not a lot of room in my washroom. Right now, my tripod is sitting on the washing machine, which is up against the wall, and I'm leaning back against the pantry doors, um, in here, so it's, it's a very, very tiny room. I'm lucky if it's maybe, um, five foot. One, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, maybe five foot in this area here. So, and that goes clear to the wall. So, about five foot. So, again, I apologize, and I'm trying to keep my grief in check. Um, so, I want to think positive that she's in a much better place and no longer in pain. I'm reunited with my Uncle Dave. So, again, if you could keep my family in your prayers, it'd be much appreciated. So, um, let me get myself composed and pulled together and. We will open these doors <laughs> and let the madness begin. I'll be right back. Alrighty, um, let's go ahead and get this started. Um, so here's my pantry. Um, unlike many pantries, it's a um, little closet section um, with shelving that is in my washroom. Um, my washroom is very, very small. Um, so what we're gonna do Go through, decide what we, um, what we're gonna keep in each of these areas, and get things organized and situated. So let me um, go grab up my um, trays and things that I'm gonna use in here, and then um, we will go ahead and get started. All right. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is, um. I think we're going to take this top shelf here and I think we're going to um, <clears throat> use this for um, baking goods and then I think the next set of shelves down um, I think we're going to take this and then we'll turn this into um, quick meals and then rice and pasta and then um, fruits, vegetables, and then down here will be oversized things, which I don't even think you can see that far down. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, um, because like I said, my washroom is not very big, we're going to go ahead and just um, pull some of this stuff out of here and um, another stuff will just move down to another shelf until we get to where we're at that shelf um so let's because i know i'm buying duplicates and all kinds of things like that so like i said we're going to turn this into a baking shelf here so let's get this soup out of here miracle whip doesn't go there anymore <laughs> um brownie mix hamburger helper Another brownie mix and another brownie mix. 
and another brownie mix. <laughs> All right, so I'm starting to see a trend here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get a um, bin, and we're gonna put <clears throat> these brownie mixes, kind of keep things like things together. So give me just a second. Grab this. Now these came from Dollar Tree, and of course they were a dollar. Um, so let's go ahead and start putting these in here. Alright, I'm hoping. I'll turn it in like so. Um, here's some frosting. That goes up there though, but I gotta make some room for it. Here's some more rice. Let's put those back here. All right. Um. Now I can see down here. I've got a open Jello no bake. All it has in it is the crust. So we don't need this big old box in here. Um. Let's see here. Here's some pudding and some Jello down here. So. What I think we're going to do with this is, again, I got another um, bin that has a no-slide piece inside. And this bin here is a 9.75 inch by 6.75 inch. And I think we're going to put the pudding in here and the jello. And I think this one will sit, yeah, like that. We'll set him over here for right now. Um, I think because I do use them for baking, we'll put the graham crackers up here too. Let me do another quick look to see if there's any other baking stuff up on the shelf. Doesn't look like it. And let's check this shelf. Nope. And back down here. Nope, here's some more. Um, these here are some cookie. We'll go ahead and put those in here with the brownie. This. Um, here is a couple cans of cherry filling, and I like to use those when I make um, my fluff. So there's those. Those up there. Another thing of brownies. It's amazing what you don't realize you have when now this is an actual cake mix, so why don't we take this, slide that down, and slide that in here. Let's see. <clears throat> Hamburger helper. A blueberry mix. And put that in there as well. Um, here's a condensed milk that I use for baking. Evaporated milk. That one gets used in baking as well. And pumpkin. Let's go ahead and slide that up here. There we go. I wish this would have fit a little bit better. Um, put the cake mix in there as well. Okay, so there's the baking things that I can find. Just here quickly. I'll see. Oh, here's some fluff. 
I think these we'll put in the back here of this. There we go. There we go. Alright, so there's that shelf. <clears throat> so this is my baking supplies right now. Um, then I said we drop down here. And these are going to be like um, some quick, the quick dinner type things. Um, <clears throat> I think what I might actually do is do like rice and noodles on this one. And then do the quick dinner here. Let's see what we've got here. Put some rice. There's boxes of rice there. So I'm that with those. These here are noodles. Some noodles. More noodles. Some manwich. Tony sauce. Some pasta salad. Some spaghetti. Sorry to open. Um, some soup. Oh, just found some more cake mix. Okay. this. We'll set these in front here or let's just go ahead and slide them on top here so there are. We know there's more than just brownies in there. Okay. Uh, hamburger helper. Another pasta salad. Ranch mix. Taco mix. Gravy mix, another rice. <clears throat> Stove top, queso. Let's get this one back down this way here again. Black beans and soup. Some more spaghetti. Dips. Um, some extra Parmesan cheese. That's a thing of grooves. Some extra crackers. Toilet mill. What is this? Taco sauce. Brown gravy mix. <laughs> yay. Yay, yay, yay. Sweet potatoes. It's down there for now. Gravy. Let's see. What's the. It looks awful juicy. Um, I don't know that I'm going to trust that. We'll throw that out. Alright. Um, so I got like chicken broth here. Um, we've got. Here's another baking. This is a. Uh, muffin mix here. It's cheddar and herb there. So we'll set that up there. Alright, um, I think what we're gonna do is let's do, like, um, hamburger helper meals. Let's get a basket here. Put like hamburger helper meal type meals in here because Brad likes those and they're easy for him to make on nights that he has to cook dinner. And then I got a couple pasta salads, so we'll put those into the front of this as well. Okay, we'll set that right here. And then let's put Like, um, here's another hamburger helper. 
There's another hamburger helper. There's all in there. If I have to, those pasta salads can go in there sideways. Okay. Some more baking. Peanut butter and chocolate desserts. <sighs> so it goes in here. This in here, the box is open. over here and these here are actual baked goods so it's like those up there all right um let's here let's see all right i think i got all of the hamburger helper type stuff and those are all there. So now I think I'm going to go ahead and put like the um, like um, boxes of rice and potatoes in here. Spaghetti and slide those in there like that. <coughs> Let's see here. Um, Let's see here. I think I want to put like um, soups and vegetables. Here. Well, I want to kind of keep like items together. So I've got these rices and these um, pasta dishes. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want them to be in a container all together or do I want to continue to put like... Um, Noodle. Oh, some noodles. So I'll take these noodles here. Put those back there with those egg noodles. Let's see here. Um I think these soups and vegetables. here. Another seasoning packet. It's open. Eaten or sealed up. Gross. Alright, um, I'm thinking like these pasta and rice dishes and stuff. Oh, here's some frosting. This needs to come up here. soups though that um I do want the um the rice and the noodles I think
I think we're going to put um, the rice and the noodles that are in these bags and boxes into a, another bigger bin. Um, let's put the noodles and the rice. Put the box of rice here. We're going to put, I think, in the, um, oops, pumpkin gray and, well, all right, um, cranberry sauce, some water chestnuts from recipe, yeah, interesting. Green beans, kidney beans. This here's my tomatoes. Gosh, this is good right here. So let's put these over here. Like that. All right, so there's some chickpeas, some kidney beans. This may just be vegetables. Um, green beans. Some more tomato sauce. So we'll set that there. Uh, some black beans. Okay, let's continue on here, guys. Um, cheese. This is dips. So I'll put that there. Soup. This is um, salad dressing, cocktail sauce. Well, that'll come down into here. Oh, good golly. Guess what? Just found some more rice. And that's what I mean about way too much extra. grocery list that doesn't belong on the grocery list. Oh! Okay, so let's put these Raymonds back in here. This sugar. Um, some rice cereal. Let's put the brown sugar. I still got a basket, so let's see. Here, if we can't. Sugar, sugar, extra pancake mix. These are just extra things that we usually would keep in the um, little pantry cabinet I have in the kitchen, but there just isn't enough room for some extra pancake mix. So we're gonna put in here. Okay, so there's that. Here with the cereal oats. Here's some chocolate syrup. 
syrup. Put that down there. Okay, so. I don't know about you guys, but I don't do well sitting in this cup squat. The whole legs are too old. <laughs> I'll put these slice pickles down here. Um, let's see. These here can all be thrown away. So I think we're gonna go here. Beef broth, chicken broth. Put this and that there. There we go. All right. So I think we'll grab one of these and put all of the tuna packets. A bunch of those here. I like to have those for my lunch. So I'll put those in here. So those here. These here are pan soups. So let's kind of organize these by what they are. <coughs> All right, we got cream of chicken, cream of celery, fiesta cheese soup, cream of chicken, cream of chicken, cream of celery, cream of chicken. Cream of celery. Stuff used to cook a lot of, of meals and things. Um, I think we're also going to put stove top. I rarely buy it because nobody likes it in here. Um, I think we'll put the salad dressings in here. Um, I also think we're going to do hmm, another one of these to hold all of these um, dips and gravies and things that we have here. So we got taco, we got dip, and we got gravy. This is taco sauce. So why don't we stick this up here with the taco sauce like that. Okay. So we got taco seasoning, gravy, Mix. Let's see here. Um, this is throwing everything. Gravy mix. Gravy mix. Taco. Taco. It's another off in there. And some ranch. There we go. Slide that in there, like so. Then we got stuff like cocktail sauce that we buy every once in a blue moon. And this goes with our pasta, so I think I'll stack it here. And this is pizza sauce. Let's go ahead and put this back in here. There we go. Um. This is cream of chicken. Let's go ahead and put that here. Stack these here like that. There we go. And this one, because it's jalapeno, it's very spicy, is why we haven't used this. And then we got manwich. Um, I'll put these both over here. This is dips. So this, I think we're going to put back behind that, like there. There we go. Now, I think it's a whole lot easier to see what I have. My overstock here um, that won't fit in the main pantry. Um, soups and um, dips and the tuna um, all here where it's easier to find, um, vegetables, leftover noodles and rice, um, and our taco, our taco stuff, uh, then 
continue moving up here. Sorry. Um, then we've got the rice, the noodles, hamburger helper, things along that line. And then clear up, we have all the baking stuff. And I bet you to my surprise, when I shut this, it's going to stay shut and not pop open. Ta-da! All right, so if you enjoy these types of videos, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you have any comments that you'd like to add, please leave those down in the comments section. Um, if you like what you're seeing on our channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell right beside it so it will notify you of um, upcoming videos and as they come in. And we will continue to organize and work at a teacher's pace here. So um, thanks for stopping by our channel and until we see you on the next video, bye loves.